device phone, but the phone battery's just died. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> you just the whole time around, and get you the Lovely, thank you. interior in that. Imagine ordering a metro from new and specking that leather interior with the wood. <laughs> That's rather beautiful isn't it? Lovely. People like the Renault because they often don't know what it is because you never see them. That's partly why I bought it. It's a nice cheap car that can stop a show. Never got them in the UK. Honda Beat. Yeah, there's quite a bit of cockpit room, isn't there? It isn't a cramped car. No, no. There you go. You heard it here first. There's quite a bit of cock room. I think you meant, you meant cockpit room. <laughs> Quite a bit of cock room. A couple of Benzes. Oh, that's got a nice interior. My Mercedes knowledge is failing. I cannot remember the name of this colour. Might be tourmaline green. I think it's tourmaline green. Mushroom leather. Heated seats. Nice specification Benz. No wood wheel though. I like a wood wheel. 320, so that's the later V6. And this one's a 430, so that's the V8. That's tasty, isn't it? I bet Matt Bavaria would like this. This is a Matt Bavaria car. This is heated seats as well. <laughs> you know I love heated seats. Two uh, Look at this color. This is a great color, this is. That's a comfy thing. Nice long distance tourer. Yeah. Couple of real nice cars here. So if you haven't been to this venue before, you need to get yourself down here. This is Chelsea Walsh Hill Climb, oldest motors oldest continuously in use motorsport racing venue in the world. And these sheds here, I mean sure then, you know, probably not original, but they've hosted car racing for well over a hundred years. Now that is there's something very cool about that. And look at the surroundings 
in the, the Worcestershire Shires, which is on the edge of the Herefordshire Shires, which, as I've said in many other videos, on another fairly well-known YouTube channel, these are the best of the Shires. No, you won't. You don't need to hold my beer for me. It's because you're next to yours. In fact, you're right. That is exactly like what we had. In fact, funny story about that car. Do you remember that night that it rained? Yeah. And you rolled over in the night and went, oh, no, I don't need to put the roof on because my husband's done it. And I rolled over in the night and went, mm, don't need to put the roof on because my wife's done it. And we went out in the morning and neither of us had put the roof on. Yeah. And the heated seats never worked again. It was soaked, wasn't it? That was proper rain. That was. We left the roof off. Heated seats never worked again. Well, we, it did work as good. They were excellent heated seats when they worked, weren't they? But it used a lot of petrol, didn't it, that car? But I used to drive that everywhere with the roof off, and you'd send me selfies when you had no kids with the roof off. Yeah. Oh, so it was great, it'd be like December, and you'd be rocking around with the roof off. Ours was a really nice spec on, actually, wasn't it? A couple of interesting number plates here. We have TVR Kerbera with the number plate Kirby, <laughs> and then that TVR with the number plate 8 MPG. I'd assume it does slightly more than 8 MPG. Maybe not what it's hill climbing. JDM cars, Japanese cars, they'll go wild for something like that. Even if Mrs. Jeff has just said, well, that's horrible. I'm not so sure, but everybody likes different things and that's what the classic car scene thrives on. Mm -hmm. 